Hello, Maurice. Hello, teacher. How are you, Maurice? How do you feel today? Uh, I'm fine. My You're day fine. is very busy. It's very busy, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and but you? you, um, well, it was very, very busy as well, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Right. So, I'm, I think that we are on Thursday. Right, so it's Thursday already, tomorrow Friday, then Saturday yeah. and Sunday, right? So we can rest a little bit. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I can see that we also have Karen. Good evening, Karen. Um, well, Maurice, um, you know, I think that, uh, well, today we're going to have uh, a different topic. We are going to cover something really, really important and also interesting. So to begin with, we are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar, which is the zero conditional. We are going to learn different things about the zero conditional today. We are going to have a speaking time as well. We have quizzes, we have a listening quiz, we have vocabulary quiz, and we also have the wrap up, okay? We have different activities that we are going to cover, okay? And okay, as a warm up, we are going to uh, match the following sentences, okay? Let me go ahead and, and okay. So let me ask you something um, in this case. If you are hungry, okay? If you are hungry, ¿qué puede pasar si usted está hambriento? If you are hungry, what could happen? Okay, so we have, you are hungry, you eat too much, you have a lot of body fat, okay? Body fat means grasa corporal, okay? So you can't breathe, you are hot, your eyes are closed, okay? So in this case, what we need to do, vamos a enlazar, ¿qué pasaría si sucediera esto? Con los literales de la A a la F. So if you are hungry, what happens? If you are hungry, what happens to your body? Uh -huh. What do you think? Uh -huh. Your stomach makes noise. Very good. So now repeat after me and say a stomach. Do you guys stomach, Maurice? Stomach. A stomach. A stomach. Con K. A stomach. stomach. Perfect. Okay. So if you are hungry, your stomach makes noises. And that is true. That is true. Okay. Eso es muy cierto. Okay, so that is true. Now, if you eat too much, what happens? What happens if you eat too much, guys? What happens? Huh? If you eat too much? Uh overweight you become overweight that is correct okay you say gana peso now if you have a lot of body fat what happens if you have a lot of body fat guys what happens mm -hmm. What happens? Si usted tiene bastante grasa corporal, what happens? Uh -huh. mm, not exactly. So no. if you have a lot of body fat, what happens is that you survive longer without food. Okay, people that have a lot of body fat, okay, las personas que tienen bastante grasa corporal, 
¿ok? Pueden sobrevivir más tiempo sin comer, es decir, no les da mucha hambre porque tiene bastante grasa corporal, tiene bastante body fat, ¿ok? Pero cuando ya ese body fat se acaba, usted ya siente otra vez el hambre. Uh -huh. So now, if you can't breathe, what happens? If you can't breathe. If you can breathe. In this case, your lungs don't move. Okay? So if you can't breathe, your lungs don't move. What is the meaning of lungs? Lungs mean pulmones. Okay? Yes. If you are hot, All right, if you are hot, okay, si usted tiene calor, if you are hot, what happens? So, you sweat, sweat, okay, sweat. If you are hot, you sweat. Yes, usted suda. If you are hot, you sweat. And that is true. Eso es muy cierto. If your eyes are closed, okay, what happens? You are asleep. That means that you are asleep, okay? Significa que usted tiene sueño. Está dormido, okay? Very good. So, guys, those sentences, the ones that I have created, are basically in the zero conditional. And that is the topic for today the zero conditional, okay? So I'm not sure if you have studied this before or not, but today we are going to cover it, okay? And this is very simple and easy. So the zero conditional, what is it? Okay, what is the zero conditional? When do we use the zero conditional? Why do we use it? Is it common or not? Well, The zero conditional, guys, is the one that we used to make a statement about the real world when the result of the condition is always true. We also use the simple present tense to create sentences and often refers to rules, scientific facts, and general truths, cause and effect, and routine. Now, teacher, I don't understand, right? So, the zero conditional, guys, is the one that we use whenever we want to say different things that are true. For example, se llama condicional porque nosotros utilizamos el if. Por ejemplo, si usted come mucho, ¿qué pasa? Si usted come mucho, usted gana peso. Yes. Entonces, dice que el condicional cero, we use it to make a statements about the real world. Nos ayuda a crear oraciones acerca del qué? Del mundo real. Cosas que la condición siempre va a ser verdadera. ¿Ok? Entonces, if you eat too much, you get weight. Usted gana peso. Y eso es verdad. Es contada la persona que no gana peso. Okay? So now, it says that we also use the zero conditional to talk about rules, para hablar de reglas, scientific facts, Hechos científicos y verdades generales, general threats, cause and effect, cada causa, ok, algo tiene su efecto, and routine, rutinas, ok. So, vamos a ver, and let's move to the structure, ok. First of all, the structure. 
which is the structure the structure is kind of long it's a little bit long but it is i would say easy for you to to understand okay so we have if okay if plus subject plus verb in base form plus complement and we also have comma look at that because that is about grammar okay comma subject verb in base form plus complement and if you remember it says that we use the simple present tense so the two sentences are in simple present tense las dos oraciones que utilizamos en el condicional cero están en presente simple guys all right so right here we have if it rains coma the grass gets wet what is the grass el césped la grama so if it rains the grass gets wet si llueve ¿Qué pasa si llueve? What happens? The grass La grama se moja. Wet. La grama se moja. Y es un hecho real. Mm -hmm. Right? Porque la grama va a estar afuera. Right? So, if it rains, the grass gets wet. Yeah? Now, we also have the negative. Okay. You remember we use simple present tense and then the simple present tense should be in negative. Tiene que ser en negativo la oración primero. If plus subject plus do not or does not, it depends on the subject, verb in base form plus complement. And look at this, we have coma. Again, subject, verb in base form, and complement. Why do we use commas? Well, to separate the two sentences, okay? If you do not use coma, so that sentence is incorrect. It will be wrong, okay? So then we have, if I don't know a word, okay? So, si yo no sé una palabra, ¿qué es lo que hago? Si usted no sabe una palabra, ¿qué es lo que hace? Si usted no sabe algo, most of the time, I look it up in my dictionary or I look it up on Google or probably I ask somebody, right? Yes. So in this case, this is the structure for negative. Yeah. Negative. Now let's continue with the question. The question basically is um, that we are going to start with do or does plus the subject plus the verb in present and then we have the complement. Okay. Aquí no tenemos coma. Fíjese bien. ¿Por qué? Porque es una pregunta. Y empezamos con el auxiliar. So we have if, subject, verb in base form, and complement. Y la pregunta nos queda, does your mom get angry if you don't help with the chores at home? ¿Se enoja su mamá si usted no ayuda con los quehaceres del hogar? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes. Now, let's see. Another example. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo de cada uno. Ok. Para que pueda ir viendo más o menos cómo se utiliza. For example. Si usted. Right. Si usted no trabaja. No tiene dinero. Y eso es algo real. Entonces, el condicional cero es para cosas reales, que pasan realmente. Si yo no trabajo, no tengo dinero. ¿Cómo podríamos decir eso? 
si yo no trabajo. If don't work. If I don't I don't work. work, coma. Yeah. I don't have money. I don't have money. Correct. Yes. Eh, y eso es, así es, es algo real, right? So, if I don't work, I don't have money. Yes? Another example. Um, si tú te acuestas tarde, ok, te levantas tarde. Ok, si tú te duermes tarde, te acuestas tarde, te vas a la cama tarde, te levantas tarde. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wake up. If you... Si tú te acuestas tarde. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes. If you go to bed go. late, yeah. coma, you wake up, wake up. Late. late. Ahora, algo de la vida real, ok, de su trabajo. Si su jefe Ok, si mi jefe me pide algo, yo lo hago. ¿Cómo diría eso? Si mi jefe me pide un reporte, yo lo hago. If my... If my... If my boss requests report... Yeah. Okay, if my boss requests uh, a report, Oma, I, I do it. Okay, I uh, do it or I prepare it. Okay. Yeah. Y si se fija, también utilizamos siempre las reglas de las terceras personas. Porque yo le he agregado la S porque estoy hablando de mi supervisor, quien es un tercera persona. Porque es presente simple. Simple present. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, do you have questions? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? No, ok. Very good. Ok, so, antes de continuar, ok, I need you to please create one sentence, ok, necesito que me cree una oración utilizando el condicional cero y me la mande al chat. Zero conditional, guys. Zero. Yeah. Zero conditional. I'll give you uh, two minutes. Okay. Just for you to think. Okay.
Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes, Maurice. Excellent, Pablo. Yes, Wendy. If I do not buy food, I do not eat. Mm -hmm. If I want to have a good health, I have to take care of my freedom. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So now let's continue. Yeah, let's continue, guys. Okay. So now, um, as we mentioned at the beginning, we use the zero conditional to talk about four things. If I have hungry, I eat. Okay, in this case, Emerson, eh, vamos a decir, if I am hungry, okay? If I am. En lugar de if I have, okay? Vamos a decir, um, cuando queramos decir que estamos hambrientos, siempre vamos a decir I am, I am uh, hungry, okay? okay. Um, thank you. So then we also have rules, cause and effect, scientific facts, and general truths, and routine. Yeah, so we have four cases where we can use the zero conditional. Yes, do you remember about the explanation at the beginning? So we have four. In four scenarios, right? So we have the first one, rules. If you drink alcohol, don't drive. Si usted toma. Alcohol, no maneje. Si usted bebe, no maneje. Una regla. If you smoke, don't come inside. Si usted fuma, no entre. Ok. Rules, reglas. Yes. Then we also have cause and effect. We have cause and effect. If you push the bottom, the volume increases. If you push the bottom, the volume increases. So, si usted presiona el botón, ¿qué sucede? El volumen incrementa. O puede ser lo contrario. The volume decreases. If you close the door, it locks automatically. If you close the door, it locks automatically. Pronunciation. It locks automatically. Yeah. Cause and effect. Okay. And then we also have scientific facts and general truths. So if you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. Yes, that happens. Teacher, what is boiled? Hervir. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice calentar? Heat. If you heat water, si usted calienta agua. Right? So now, if you combine oil and water, they do not mix. Mm -hmm. And that is true. Si usted combina el aceite y el agua, no se mezclan. Yeah. And we have routine. Routine. 
cosas rutinarias. Miren, fíjense bien en esto. I wear my boots if I work. Yo uso o me pongo mis botas si yo trabajo. She uses glasses if she drives. Ella usa lentes si ella maneja. If I cook, I use olive oil. So if you notice, guys, we have something different. ¿Qué es lo diferente que tenemos? The comma, when the, the sentence, the if the after. Very good. Yes, Carlos. So, guys, the difference is the coma. Why? Because if you notice on those two sentences, we are adding if at the end. No al principio, right? Fíjense bien. En estos dos, if va aquí, ve. Y no hay coma. As Carlos said. Teacher, entonces yo puedo decir, if I work, I wear my boots. Yes. Entonces puedo decir también, if she drives, she uses glasses. Yes. Entonces puedo decir, eh, the volume increases if you push the button. Yes. Entonces también puedo decir, don't drive if you drink alcohol. Yes. So, usted puede darle vuelta a todas estas oraciones. Y es la misma idea. Y eso es algo muy particular de los condicionales en inglés. Que si usted le da vuelta a la idea, a, I mean, a la estructura, ¿verdad? No cambia el contexto. So, uh, that is something that we need to remember. So, um, the, probably the most important thing that I need to mention about this is the following. Um, if you decide to use if at the beginning, for example, if you say, if I work, okay, if I work, coma, I wear my boots, okay, or I wear my boots, if I work. Okay, so, para que vea, ah, vea la diferencia. So, if I work, if I work, I wear my boots. Empiezo con if, entonces sí pongo coma. I wear my boots if I work. No pongo coma porque if no está al principio. Okay. Entonces, si usted pone así, eso está mal, okay. Tiene que ser así. La coma solamente va a ir cuando se tenga if al principio. Uh -huh. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas? ¿Tiene dudas? ¿Algo que no esté claro? No? Okay. Yes, I think that, that um, okay, that is something really important, okay, for you to remember, okay, and do not forget. No se olvide, si tiene el if, siempre ponga la coma, porque si no, e incluso en los exámenes, creo que la plataforma tiene que poner la coma, porque si no, se lo va a tomar como incorrecto. Okay. So now, uh, Maurice, help us reading the uh, the examples that we have uh, for positive examples, then Carlos Vladimir, negatives, and Eduardo, questions. If you hate ice, it melts. Ice melts if you hate, 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 hate. Heat it. Heat it. Heat it. Heat it. Heat it. Is it good to get late? I wake up late. Yes. Simple. 
You pay hated yeah. income. Pay hated income. Taxes. You earn more money. Okay. Thank you. If you don't exercise, you gain weight. You need a pen if you take the test. If I don't study, I don't do well on test. Very good. Yes. Okay. And then questions. Does mm -hmm. I smell if you hear it? Do you go to bed late if you wake up late? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So you see, and basically this is the zero conditional. Okay. This is the zero conditional. So, the question. Yes. Uh, I can use a sentence in with will. With will. Yes, you can use sentences with will, pero ese ya no sería el condicional cero. Ese sería el um, condicional uno. Sí. Pero sí puede utilizar ese tipo de estructuras, pero sería otro condicional. Otro yes. In English, guys, we have um, five. Tenemos cinco tipos de condicionales. Está zero, first, second conditional, and third conditional. Ahí tenemos cuatro. Y el último es el mixed conditional, que son los condicionales eh, mixtos porque utilizamos las eh, estructuras de los cuatro. Entonces, mezclamos. Por supuesto, en ese momento estamos viendo el primero, que es zero. ¿Ya? A medida que se avance y vaya avanzando, va a ir viendo un poco más complejo. ¿Ya? But in this case, yes, Maurice. Sí, pero sí puede, ¿ok? Yes. Okay, any other doubt? Any other doubt that you may have, guys? Una otra duda o pregunta? No? Okay, so let's practice speaking, okay? You are going to go to different breakout rooms, but first I will give you um, the indication, okay? So, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? Yo le he dado un ejemplo, pero usted va a responder lo que usted hace. Yeah? So, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? If I can't sleep, I try to relax my mind. What do you do if you have to prepare for a difficult exam? Y fíjese cómo responde. Siempre repite lo que se le ha preguntado. If I have to prepare for a difficult exam, okay, I try to review and practice what we have covered in class. Yeah. Yo trato de revisar y practicar lo que hemos cubierto en clase. Number three. What do you do if you don't want to do your English homework? What do you do if you don't want to do your English homework? If I don't want to do my English homework, I try to discipline myself to do the homework. And the last one, what do you do if you received bad service in a restaurant? Okay, so when I received bad service in a restaurant, I talk to the supervisor. Teacher, pero ahí no veo el if. En el condicional número cero, podemos sustituir 
if con when. Pero por el momento vamos a hablar solamente de if. Entonces, si decimos, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? If I receive bad service in a restaurant, I talk to the supervisor. Yeah, if. Okay, so we are going to practice with those four. Va a practicar con estas cuatro. Yo quiero saber su respuesta de estas cuatro utilizando condicional número cero, el que acabamos de ver. Yes. Once we are done, cuando usted ya termine, ok, básicamente esto con su compañero, vamos a empezar con lo siguiente. Sí, and it says, complete the sentences with a feeling or emotion. Zero conditional. Yo le he dado casi toda la oración. Mire, son 10. Usted tiene que agregarle la otra parte. For example, if a person has a job interview, he probably feels... Nervous. Nervous. Uh -huh. Nervous. Okay. Nervous. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels excited. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels it's stressful. Happy. Okay. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels as stressful. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels confused. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels positive. Okay? Y así va a ir de una en una hasta llegar a las 10. Vaya leyendo de qué se trata cada oración y va a ir agregando un feeling or emotion. Son 10. Y recuerden, estas cuatro. Ok, cuando terminemos con todo, vamos a regresar porque tenemos más actividades. Right? So, try to practice those four and then you move to those 10. Yeah? Ok, guys. If you cannot join the breakout room, please stay here. Ok, si usted no puede... Eh, ir al, al salón eh, quédese aquí okay. How are you? Um, I'm fine, sis. Okay. Nice, nice. Can you see my screen? Yes. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. The first sentences the teacher mentioned about he probably feels nervous. Yes, but um, first we have to do uh, the first questions in the live live before yes okay what do you do if you can sleep at night okay <laughs> uh, in my case if i can sleep at night 
Um, I listen to music. Okay. Okay. Um, if I can sleep, I take my guitar and practice. Okay. Um, what do you do if you have to prepare uh, for a difficult exam? Okay, if I have to prepare for a difficult exam, um, I try to study the topic for the exam and I try to relax too <laughs> and practice. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I try to study for uh, different ways, like uh, writing question and answer and make uh, resumes and reading and talk aloud and that's that's the that is i have to do when i have to difficult exam <laughs> yes okay what do you do if you don't want to do you uh you your english homework okay if i don't want to do my english homework um I try to see videos in YouTube <laughs> okay. um, for um for a study the doubts that I I have. Okay, okay. In my case, if I don't want to do my English homework, I push myself and I talk myself myself that I have to do that to learn English. If I start, I have to finish. Okay. What do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? Um if I receive bad service in a restaurant, um, I talk to the supervisor or I write a um, review <laughs> in, in the social medias uh, for the restaurant. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Well, when I receive, receive a bad service, in a restaurant first first i think i talk to the supervisor and i give i give them a second chance i visit again and if i receive a bad service again i try to do something else like talk to the supervisor again and write some recommendation and write in a social media. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. If a person has a job interview, he probably feels anxious. Uh if I prepare for a difficult exam, I can pass the exam. <laughs> and you, Carla? Um, uh, if I have to prepare for a difficult exam, I, I read uh for one hour my notes uh in the week okay three what do and um, what do you do is you don't want to do your english homework 
Ooh. <laughs> if I don't want to do an English homework, I remember that my word esta palabrita se me en cómo sería eh, teacher acumular algo así mm, ok so what is the main idea qué es lo que quiere decir el recuerdo que se me acumula el trabajo algo así mm, probably you can say mm, I remember that I will Accumulate tasks. Accumulate. Okay. Mm -hmm. I remember that I accumulate tasks. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. If I don't want to do my English homework, I schedule an hour to do it at once. Mm -hmm. What do you hmm? Make I I try. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, if I receive bad service in a restaurant, I don't go back to the restaurant anymore. Yeah. Okay. If I receive bad service in a restaurant, I I talk to I I talk to manager. Okay. Yeah, I don't go back. Continuamos con eso entonces. Okay. Okay. If a person have a job interview, he probably feels exciting. Yeah. He probably feel nervous, nervous. If a person see his girlfriend with a man he does now he probably feels how do you say jealous in English? Jealous. Jealous. Mm -hmm. Una persona sería, sería está realmente caliente. Ajá. Sería, podría sentirse sí, he deshidratado que this is dehydrated Okay, number seven. Mm -hmm. okay. If a person's cat dies, he probably feel disconsolate. Disconsolado. Disconsolado. Okay. If a person has two jobs and 
no tan relax y probably feel cansado, tired. 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 Perdón. Exhausted. Tired or exhausted. Maybe. Number nine, if a okay, person cannot keep his eyes open, he probably feels Sleep. sleeping. 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 Mm -hmm. Number 10. If a person gets caught, caught up on the freeway, he probably feels If a person gets caught, uh -huh. okay. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. exactly. Stressed. <laughs> Stressed. <laughs> Stressed. Stressed. Okay. Continue with the other ones. Okay. Okay, miss. Next. Okay. Complete the sentence with the, what do you do when you feel a certain way? Mm -hmm. Is I am angry? Is I angry? Angry is enojado. Sí. Yeah. Uh, is I angry? I take a minute for breath. To breathe. To breathe. Yes. Me tomo un minuto o un momento para respirar. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. If I am busy, busy. If I am busy, uh huh. Mm. I establish priority for two. You establish one of your for a second. Probably feels tired and stress stressful. He probably feel asleep. Yeah. Sleepy. Sleepy. Yes. It's a person that cut off on the freeway. He probably feel. But sleepy, sleepy is in number nine. Mm -hmm. If a person, if a person cannot keep his eyes open, he probably feels sleepy. Okay. Number 10. 
If a person gets cut off on the freeway, he probably feels what is that get cut off? Eh, like a stock. Stock. Ajá, como atascado. Ah, oh, okay. Um, Yeah. Angry, he probably angry. Yes, he probably feels angry. Okay, continue with the other ones. If I am angry, I'm angry. If I am I... angry. I'm try uh and try keep, calm. Yes, I try calm. I try and relax. Medit. Medit. Uh I take a vodka and relax. I can't I can't <laughs> I can't attend. <laughs> okay, you're <laughs> <laughs> if I am bus busy. If I am busy, um, uh, I I I don't pick I don't pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. If I am busy. If I am hungry, I go to the McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I am jealous, that's an also. I. I try, come on. How do you say dissimilar in English? Mm. Come on. I try, I try dissimilar. Okay. Um, so I try to, yes, I try to dissimulate. I try to dissimulate. 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 Yes, dissimulate. Okay. Next, if I if I am lonely, mm -hmm. um, I try to talk with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I am lonely, uh -huh. I try to talk with my friends or, or, or my family or my parents. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. I, am, I am happy. Watch a movies on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I am lonely, I'd be happy. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Yes, I am scared. 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 Yes, scared. Scared. Mm -hmm. uh, if I am scared, I turn off, I turn on light of my, my house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Please, they are practicing that as well, okay? So, yeah, all of them. Okay. Okay, did you? If I am jealous. I am. Jealous. 
celosa. Ah. Uh, I talk with my wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if I'm lonely. Uh -huh. If I'm lonely. If I'm lonely. Solo, solitario. I listen to music. To I watch a movie. 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 Uh -huh. Sleep. I go to sleep. I go to work. You go to work. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I'm scared. 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 Uh -huh. I scream. I search. I search in my mom. <laughs> I I turn off the. Turn on the TV. <laughs> I call my dog. No, que a veces cualquier ruido le hace la culpa a la mascota y tal vez no. If I am sleepy, I drink a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or in a coke. coke. If I'm nervous, nervous, no se pronuncia nervous. 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 Mm -hmm. I, I try to control me. Mm -hmm. I try to control myself. I control myself. Yes. I take a breath, uh, deep breath. Uh, if I'm thirsty, yes. Sediento. Thirsty. thirsty. Yes. Sediento. I drink water. <laughs> I drink water. I drink water. No, Ale. Ale, If I'm upset, upset. No, sir. If I'm upset, decepcionado. Yeah. Estoy decepcionado. No, molesto. 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 Uh -huh. uh, Mm. Mm, I try to don't think in the situation. Uh -huh, in the situation. If I'm upset, I go to talk with the person. <laughs> okay, also. <laughs> Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carla, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? Mm, if I can't sleep, I listen to music. I listen to music. To music, perfect. Um, what about you, George? What do you do if you can't sleep at night? If I can't sleep, I listen to music and uh, take a, a water. Take water, really? Does it yeah. help? Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you? Um, let me see. Let me see. Pablo, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? Okay. 
is Pablo there? I do not know. Okay, Carlos Vladimir, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? If I can sleep at night, I drink a glass of water with sugar. Does it help? Yes. Really? Yes, it is functional for me. Yeah, I, I have, I have uh, listened to that um, probably treatment, I think, yeah, that kind of uh, probably option, right? Whenever we can sleep, but I haven't tried it. But I, I'm, I'm thinking because of the sugar, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, I have heard that a lot of times that people say, if you can sleep, drink a glass of water with sugar. But yeah, I'm not sure if that helps. But yes, okay. This is like, yeah, I have heard that many times. Okay, so let me see, Wendy. What do you do if you can't sleep at night? Is Wendy there? No, teacher. Yes. What do you do if you can't sleep at night? If I cannot sleep, Um, we cannot hear you, okay? Probably you're having issues with the internet. Uh, I think that yes, she's having issues with the internet. Okay, um, let's see. Let me see. Um, Jose Bernardo, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? If I receive bad service in a restaurant, I don't go to buy them again okay by there by them mm -hmm. so and you Nelly, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant um, first i okay <laughs> if i receive a service in a restaurant first i talk to um, the supervisor and later um i write a uh, review in oh. their social medias. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what about you, Maris? Maris, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? Uh, what do you do if you have to prepare a quality restaurant? Number four. Number four, Maurice. Uh, well, what do you do if you receive bad service in a restaurant? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't come back. You don't. Okay. Yes. All right. Receive. Okay. Receive. Mm -hmm. um, and what do you do if you have to prepare for a difficult exam, Emerson? Yeah. I think that you are on mute. Sorry, my bad. Okay. I have a prepared for a difficult exam. Mm -hmm. I do the questionnaire about the you, topic. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let me see the last one. What do you do if you don't want to do your English homework, George? Um, well, if I don't want to do my English homework, I try to make an habit and do it. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, I think that it's kind of clear, right? So as you can see, um, most of the sentences right there are in, um, well, all of them are in the zero conditional. Okay, all of them, all of them. Yeah. So if a person sees his girlfriend with a man he doesn't know, he probably feels jealous. Yeah. So if a person watches a movie about a serial killer and he is home alone, he feels scared. Scared. 
If a person does not eat for 48 hours, he probably feels weak. Weak. Mm -hmm. Weak. Weak and starving. Right? Starving, hambriento, starving. Yeah? So if a person does not talk to his family or friends for a long time, he probably feels alone. Alone, right? Sad. Okay. Well, if a person works out and is really hot, he probably feels thirsty. Thirsty. Correct. So if a person's cat dies, he probably feels sad, sad, depressed, yeah. If a person has two jobs and no time to relax, he probably feels exhausted. tired and stressed. Tired, stressful, tired, exhausted, a lot of stress, right? So if a person cannot keep his eyes open, he probably feels sleepy. Sleepy. Soñoliento, sleepy. And if a person gets cut off on the freeway, he probably feels angry. Mm -hmm. Angry, that is correct, guys, angry, okay? Now, let me ask you, what do you do, Emerson, when you feel angry? I prepared my sandwich and no. a cup of coffee. All right, if you are angry. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I take oh. a moment to breathe. I take a moment to breathe. Very good. Breathe. Yes, um, Morris, if you are busy. Uh, if I'm busy, I need a reset. I need? Reset. Reset or algo así. Oh, no. Okay, so I need no. a break. And I need a break. A break, okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if you are hungry, Nelly, what do you do? How do you feel? If I'm hungry, I, I prepare uh, something to eat. Something to eat, perfect. And um, if you are jealous, Maurice, what uh, do you do? I, I take that. I take? Relax. I, I, I try to relax. I try I to relax. Try. Yes, okay. So if I'm lonely, what do you do? Um, Probably mm, you watch series, could be. Or if you're lonely, you talk to your friends, right? Mm -hmm. If you are scared, probably you, I don't know, maybe you try to watch something to relax your mind, right? Yeah. If you're sleepy, well, you go to sleep, right? If you're sleepy, you go to sleep. Well, sometimes, right? Or if you're sleepy, you try to keep your eyes open, right? If you're nervous, what do you do if you're nervous, Nelly? Um, if I'm nervous, I try to think and 
um, one thing that relaxes me, that make me feel relaxed, okay. or I watch um, videos, or I talk with a friend. Excellent. And you, Carla, what do you do if you are nervous? If I'm nervous, I, I try to control me. To control myself. To control myself or take a breath. <laughs> yes, take a breath. Okay. Um, and if you are thirsty, well, if you are thirsty, you drink water right mm -hmm. and if you are upset probably you try to relax right you try to relax you try to calm down right if you are upset very good okay guys so we're going to take the first quiz okay let's take the first quiz let me share that with you well if you are well no but first of all i'm going to take the attendance okay before i forget okay so say present if you hear your name, Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Okay. Carla Sofia Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez Elaya. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marian. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Marina Jensi Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Yes, thank you. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Tatiana Ivon Torre. Tatiana. Wendy Marisela Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's take the first um, quiz. And the first quiz is related to vocabulary, okay? So let me send the link. If you are on the spreadsheet, you can get it. Okay. Um, let me see. Okay. So this quiz, guys, is related to prepositions. Okay. Prepositions. And the passcode is going to be grammar. Okay. The quiz is related to prepositions, guys. Okay. Preposiciones. Prepositions. Take your time, okay? Try to remember about the prepositions. Okay, I'll give you around six minutes, okay?
Okay, guys, I think that most of you finished. I'm still missing some of you. Mm Okay. Let me see. Okay. So time is over. Let's move and we are going to take the reading quiz okay now let's continue with the reading okay guys i can see that we need to work on prepositions okay so prepositions are really important uh, the passcode is reading okay passcode reading yes and okay so for the reading you will see the reading right here So you will have um, five minutes, okay, to finish it.
Okay, guys, so I think that you finished, right? Um, let me check this course. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so now the last quiz, which is listening, okay? The last quiz. So there you go. And the passcode is listening as always, listening. Um, I'm going to play the audio three times, okay? So you can get the idea. Let me know once you're in so I can play it. What do you miss? Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So here we go. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Today I'm interviewing nine year old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So, Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because... Trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So, how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example, when I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay, here we go again. Today I'm interviewing nine-year-old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So, how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example... When I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay, the third time. Today I'm interviewing nine-year-old Alex about her feelings on how people can help save the environment. So Alex, how can we save the environment? By saving water. Well, how can we do that? By not using too much water when we wash dishes, take a bath, and when we do other things like watering the plants outside. Oh, I think I can do that. What else? When drinking or eating something outside, you should keep the garbage until you find the trash can to put it in, because littering makes our planet dirty. Do you like seeing trash all over the ground? No, I don't. Do you have any final suggestions? Yes, we shouldn't waste paper because trees are being cut down to make the paper. By recycling paper, we save the forest where animals live. So, how can children recycle paper? I mean, every day. Well, for example, 
When I was in kindergarten, I used to save the newspapers so that I could make things out of them, like paper trees, instead of just throwing them away. Now the children in our neighborhood collect newspapers once a month to take them to our recycling center. That's great. Well, thanks, Alex, for your ideas. Okay, guys. Let me check your scores. Okay. All right. Um. Well. Let's continue, okay, let's continue. And right now we are going to just cover the last part, which is um, speaking, okay? So this one, guys, is actually about those questions, the ones that we have right here. And which emoji can describe your mood right now, okay? Which emoji, yeah? I want you to pick a superpower you want most, okay? Do you want to write a book? If so, which book, right? And which title would you give it? Yeah. Then Monday or Friday and why? Do you prefer Falcon or Cheetah? Yeah. Do you prefer indoor activities or outdoor ones? Yeah. Drawing or playing an instrument, which one do you prefer and why? Do you prefer playing a sport or reading a book? Do you prefer being the superhero or the villain? Okay, so we are going to practice for about 10 minutes, okay, and then we are going to come back, okay? So let's practice.
uh, teletransportation. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, mm -hmm. invisibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, Emerson? In my case, I can fly. Oh, yes. Poder volar. For me, uh, uh, wisdom. Okay. Sabiduría. Sabiduría. Me imagino que es poder, no sé. <laughs> El más poderoso del mundo, pues. Bueno, la tercera. Do you want to write a book? If so, which book? Um, motivation book. Mm. Motivation. Yes. Um, feminine power. <laughs> Ah. Yes. Bueno, uh, for me, uh, I read book English. I read book English or oh, English books. Um, but in this case, do you want to write? Quisiera escribir. Ah, uh, write. Ah. Uh, when? Uh -huh. Write. I write my life. Uh -huh. A book. About what? Of the, my life. Okay. Yes. Biography. A biography. Yes, that could be interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Porta. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And you, Nelly? Uh, motivations book. Motivation. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, empowered. Empowerment, uh, feminine, feminine empowered. Okay, a woman empowered. Yes, women. Okay, women. Okay. Well, in my case, I would like uh, to read, write. Sorry. There, there is a, a lot of noises here. Okay, don't worry. Well, I would like uh, to write a trailer novel of suspense. Maybe. Interesting. Serial killer, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My God, okay. This Friday. Teacher, I, Friday. Don't, I don't understand. understand. I don't understand. Yes. What do you prefer, Monday or Friday? Which one do you prefer, Monday or Friday? And why? Okay. Uh, Friday, Friday, because. Uh, and Saturday is the day off. Is no, it don't work. Okay, I don't work. I don't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I'm. Um, I prefer Friday <laughs> too. Friday too, because, because a weekend is coming, and I I can rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Emerson. 
well, in my case, I prefer Monday because Monday. I started the week a lot of energy. Uh, yeah. Mondays are good if you really like what you do, right? Sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Cheetah. Cheetah? For me, cheetah, because I eat very, uh, very fat. Fast? Fat, veloz, veloz. Fast. 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 Okay, yes. Um, yes, she did too. <laughs> because um, I like uh, the cats. <laughs> and it's, it's like a big cat. Emerson? For me, Falcon. I like the Falcon. Person. Why? I like the five because it's a uh, interesting bills. Okay. Um, indoor activity or outdoor ones. In mm -hmm. my case, I prefer outdoor. Go to the mountain, mm -hmm. the river. go to the beach, to the river, to the lake, yeah. probably to watch movies, right? To the movie theater, yeah. to the downtown, <laughs> drink coffee, okay? Yes. Uh, drink coffee. Uh, yes. I, uh, outdoor activities too. Okay. Your movies. Okay. Drawing or playing an instrument? Um, both, I think. For me too. I drawing and playing. What instrument? Ellie. Um, piano and guitar. I I want to um, learn learn um, violoncello too. I don't know. Teacher, how do you say emocionante? Hello. Hello. Teacher, how do you say emocionante? No, no le funciona No. Está uh, uh, funcionando. Uh, Emocional, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, exciting. Mm. Exciting. Exciting. When I was camping, I feel exciting because uh, we were alone on a forest uh, cooking on a on the fire and we slept at bags sleep bags watching the skies a lot of stars full moon the weather was fresh cold I don't know Right. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, or, or engineering, uh, industrial engineer. Oh. Uh, you, you make a uh, distribution machine. Yes. yes. It's necessary. Do it. Sometimes it improves the the statement of the of the factory yeah 
Okay. Okay. Mm. Playing a sport or reading a book? What do you prefer? Um, I don't play, but I prefer playing. <laughs> but reading a book. Yes, I prefer playing. Perfect. What kind of sport? Um, uh, I don't play, but, don't <laughs> but play. I do exercise and maybe um, maybe basketball. I like basketball. Yes. For um, me, playing the sport in basketball. Yeah, more or less soccer. Okay. okay. I like to do um I think I'm gonna say this uh, skill uh como senderita. Uh hating. Mm, I think that is hiking, but let me go. Hiking, hiking. Senderismo, right? Senderismo. Uh -huh. Yo creo que es hiking, but let me check, okay? Senderismo. Okay. Um, yes, hiking. Okay. Yes, hiking. I, I, I like to do hiking too. And before it, I, I did a lot hiking. <laughs> I, um, I did hiking in Chaparrasique Volcan. Oh. And different many. Places. It's anger in, in Chapara, it can volcan because uh, it's activity. Volcano. 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 It's moment activity. Okay. It's it, it active. It is active. It is uh -huh. active. Yeah. With activity, right? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, Emerson, te saltamos. <laughs> but I prefer playing sport, in specific soccer. I like the soccer. Oh. Okay. And the superhero Thanks. or villain? I prefer the villain. It's more uh -huh. funny. <laughs> <laughs> when and for me, superhero, because I I am superhero for my son or children. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. So pronunciation villain. 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 Yes, villain. villain, yes, yes, and funnier, okay, funnier, funnier, Fun. yes, okay, Ellie. <laughs> uh, um, I think that a villain is more interesting that, <laughs> than a superhero, but um, yes, I choose a uh, superhero. <laughs> You are my enemy. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, YouTube or TikTok? <laughs> YouTube. I don't Yo. have TikTok. Yes, I like to YouTube. Yes. For me, both. 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 Okay. And ten camping or hotel stay? Mm -hmm. Both. Need camping. <laughs> camping. Both. Both. Camping. <laughs> okay. Depend. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, it's time. Let's go back. Yes. Okay.
Okay, so Nelly, what do you prefer? YouTube or TikTok? YouTube. YouTube. Um, yes, I don't have TikTok. Yes, okay. Why do you prefer YouTube and no TikTok? Um, because in YouTube, um, uh, YouTube have uh, has? different videos. Mm -hmm. has videos uh, about different topics mm -hmm. and, uh, it has um, short videos too yes and we can learn different things and I don't know I like I never I never had uh, TikTok so <laughs> <laughs> so you prefer YouTube all right okay what about you Jose YouTube or TikTok? Uh, YouTube, because uh, I can watch the videos in the resolution that I like, mm -hmm. and videos are longer. Okay. And I don't know, maybe because I started on YouTube. Yes, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, so uh, what about you, George? YouTube or TikTok? Uh, I prefer YouTube because uh, I think uh, that I have the more topics. The videos is is better. Videos are better. Are. Yeah. No, okay. The videos are better than TikTok. Okay. And in your case, Carla, YouTube or TikTok? Mm, YouTube. YouTube as well? Yes. I think because it's, it's hard. Um, I can learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, videos are longer than TikTok. Are longer, okay, than TikTok, okay. And you, Emerson, YouTube or TikTok? I prefer YouTube. Okay. There Perfect. is a, a, a lot of topics. I like, uh, like see the conference. Conferences? There are, okay, there are. Yes, another page for you to look at for conferences is TED Talk, right? That one is a good one as well. That one has a lot of conferences. Okay, so right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for joining today, guys. I hope you have a good night and you may go ahead and rest, okay? Have a good night, guys. Take care, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care. Night, see you tomorrow. Good night. Nice. Tomorrow. Good night. See you.